Hello everyone. Let us study how to design single step matching for a microwave transmission line. So here we are going to use a Smith chart. What is a Smith chart? Smith chart is a graphical aid for solving transmission line problems very easily which would be tedious to solve by using analytical methods. So for example let us take one problem. A 300 ohm lossless line is terminated in a load of 600 plus J300 ohm operating at 600 megahertz. Find SWR on the line and design a single stub matching section assuming main line and stub are of same type. So they have asked you to use Smith chart. So before going to the solving, let us see what are the given data. So the characteristic impedance of the lossless line is 300 ohm. Load impedance 600 plus G300 ohm. Frequency of propagation 600 megahertz. So we usually use with the wavelength. So first we need to find wavelength C by F and here we get around 0.5. So what we need to design, actually what we need to find, to find is what is the distance to the short circuited stub and what is the length of the stub. So before going to that, whenever you use a Smith chart, first step you need to do is normalization. Normalization is nothing but we are dividing the load impedance by characteristic impedance. So I get it around 2 plus G. So this two I need to mark in the R circles and this one J I need to mark in the H circles. So it is plus G. So I need to consider positive reactance. Let us move with the Smith chart. So I have already marked the normalized impedance. Again let me explain it. So here R plus J2 X is 2 plus 1 G which are marking two on the main line and one on the positive reactance component. So we need to locate the normalized impedance at this point. Let me mark it as A and let me mark the center as O. Take a compass and take the radius as OA. Draw a circle, complete circle by considering OA as radius. And what is this circle called as? This is called as VSWR circle. Okay. So now next job is to obtain normalized admittance. Because in a single step matching, we are going to place a short circuited step parallel to the main transmission line. So we need to obtain what is the admittance. So in order to obtain admittance what I do is let me extend this OA point so that it cuts out a circle and to the other side also. So now note the point where this OA extended OA line where it cuts the VSWR circle this gives you the load admittance YL. A load admittance. So now we need to determine what is the load admittance value. So I just extend these line and also here so I get YL as 0.42 almost 0.42 minus J 0.2 okay 0.42 minus j.2 minus because it is a negative reactance component so now it is done so now we need to obtain what is the d by lambda value and what is the l by lambda value so for that first you need to check where this VSWR circle cuts the unit circle of Smith chart. So now let me tell you what is mean by unit circle. See you can see here a circle which passes through the value 1 and which has the center as O. 
so this circle is called as unit circle of smith chart so now our job is to find where this vswr circle cuts the unit circle so you can see here there are two points where it cuts the unit circle so now let me mark those two points as c and c dash so what you need to do is now we have got two points but we always move towards the generator move towards the generator and find the nearest points so when you move towards the generator the nearest point will be c dash so what you need to do is again draw a straight line from o to c dash and extend so that it cuts the outer circle so now the d by lambda value is given by finding the distance between this point till here so let me find the point so it here it is almost uh, 0.01 0.02 0.038 0 0.038 and i start from 0 here wavelength towards the generator so here it is around 0.16 and always remember in the smith chart distance are calculated as wavelengths so i need to write 0.038 lambda 0.16 lambda so what will be the d by lambda value d by lambda will be equals to 0.16 lambda plus 0.038 lambda so it will be comes around 0.198 lambda so now we have got the value distance to the short circuited stir that is d by lambda equal to 0.198 lambda so for more clarification just name the points as d and e so first design component is that that is the distance next what we need to obtain is a l by lambda so what you need to do again come back to the c dash position in the c dash you just check what is the actual impedance value okay so it is however it cuts the unit circle so r will be equals to 1 and the positive reactance and where it cuts it cuts at 1 again you can see it cuts at 1 so the value will be 1 plus j 1 what is r in aim of a single step matching is nothing but making the whole transmission line impedance to be matched to the characteristic impedance that does mean when you normalize you have to get the value as 1 so in order to cancel out this plus j1 i need to go for minus j1 nothing but finding the conjugate so where is that minus j1 c this is a point where you have minus j1 so let me mark it as some f so what you need to do is again draw a straight line from o to f so that it cuts the outer circle okay so then remember let me mark this point as p okay this point is nothing but the short circuited end remember this is a short circuited end so the length of the stir b is given by the distance between the point p and the point f so this is already 0.25 just you can move towards the uh, generator itself in a clockwise direction and here what is the point here the value is around point 372.374 here it is 0.374 so l by lambda is given by 0.374 minus 0.25 okay that is given as it is 0.374 
पॉइंट वन टू फोर पॉइंट वन टू फोर इज अल बाई लामडा सो आई होप यू हैव गॉट हाउ टू ऑप्टेन डी बाई लामडा एंड एल बाई लामडा सो वंस यू हैव ऑप्टेन दीज वैल्यूज लेट मी टेल यू हाउ टू ऑप्टेन द एक्चुअल वैल्यू डी एंड एल वी हैव गॉट डी बाई लामडा इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट वन आइन एट so d will be equal to 0.198 into 0.5 you remember lambda is equal to 0.5 and it comes around 0.099 meter similarly l by lambda we have got it as 0.124 and l is equals to 0.124 into 0.5 that value will be 0.062 so if you get the distance and the length of the step then your design of single step matching process is done thank you